We had to break trails through a couple feet of fresh powder to reach the survey course near Dutchman Flat. Once there, scientists from the Natural Resource Conservation Service plunged a tube into the snow 10 times. Depth is 139 and a half. 139.5. They measure the depth of the snow, which averaged about 130 inches. They also determine the density of the snow, which tells them how much water is in the snow. You can actually think about these snowy mountains as being a, a big frozen reservoir of water. Um, and so it's really good to know uh, how much is actually out here because more than 50% of our water comes from this snow melt. You're out and about playing in the snow and wondering how deep it is don't have all those fancy surveyor instruments, there's a way to figure it out. If you're on a track trail, look for the trail markers. These are typically posted 12 feet above dry ground. So here we're standing on about 11 feet of snow. That's a pretty good snowpack for late March. The surveyors determined the depth of snow near Dutchman Flat to be 123% above average for this time of year. Length of core. 136.5. But they also found the water content of that snow to be 97% of average, which means the water deficit that's been developing the past three years in our region is getting worse. We're still seeing extremely low stream flows, extremely low reservoir levels, and in parts uh, still some significantly low uh, soil moisture profiles. So those all have a pretty great imp impact uh, and strain on water resources in the region. Another problem is people traveling through the survey courses, whether on skis, snowshoes, or motorized vehicles, compacting the snow and interfering with accurate measurement. A motorized snow bike passed through this survey course last month while scientists were taking samples. Definitely appealing when you're snowshoeing or skiing through the trees and you see this nice wide open path to, to want to go down it, but um, just want folks to make sure that if they do see that sign that says snow course or snow survey, uh, to just try to avoid those, those areas. Some of these snow survey courses have been sampled the same way for more than 70 years. Such long-term data sets go a long way to helping interpret changes in climate, snowpack, and availability of water. Brooks Snavely, Central Oregon Daily News.